I'm Catherine with Cat Around Town in Kids First, and right now I am at the 40th edition of the Sundance Film Festival, and I'm at the world premiere of Girl State. In the movie Girl State, teenage girls from widely different backgrounds across Missouri, my home state, navigate a week-long immersive experiment in American democracy, build a government from the ground up, and reimagine what it means to govern. Oh, the cast are coming in. Let's go have a little girl talk. Um, so I'm here with the directors right now. Um, so my first question is, what made you guys choose Missouri to um, film this documentary in? Yeah, well, there were 50 states we could go to. I mean, right. we, we consider Texas again, but we wanted to cast a big net. And Missouri has a great program, strong leadership, really diverse state. Politically, it's left, it's right, it's center. Yeah. It's sort of emblematic of America. Yeah. And, um, they have a, just a really vibrant program. They form a yeah. Supreme Court, and, and to us it was like a no-brainer, right? Absolutely. Yeah, they were one of the few programs also that were gonna, they were gonna be held, they were holding their session at the same time that Boys State was, and we oh. thought, what could happen? That's a great idea, yeah. So can you tell us a little about what Girl State's about? Um, Girl State is about empowerment and women being in positions of power and finding those places that we belong and I don't know, empowering other women. Yes, empowering other women, so uplifting others, knowing that we're a team and we should help lift each other up and yeah. not break each other down. Yeah. Which is really important. <laughs> yeah. Um, so can you tell me a little about a uh, little bit about your role in this movie? Yeah, so I'm like part of their campaign. I run for governor, which is like I think the film does a good job of capturing how stressful that was. Because you're just constantly like I was just running around, you know, like handing out pins. They would like throw me on stage and have to like give a speech. Yeah. So I think like that's like all I did all camp. Yeah. I didn't even know super about the Supreme Court stuff until I saw it happen at the end of camp. Right. But it was super cool. So this is Faye. Hi. It's really nice to meet you. Yes, you too. So um, your, your movie is at Sundance. So how does yeah. that feel right now? It is absolutely a dream. I had no idea where this movie would end up going when I filmed it. I actually had no idea we would be attending press or anything like that after the movie was filmed. But here we are at the premiere, right? I am so excited. Yeah. So what was your favorite part about filming? Yeah, that's a great question. Honestly, I think my favorite part about filming was getting to know the camera crew and the people who are working audio. They're yeah. some of the sweetest people I ever met, and I really enjoyed working with them. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about like your role in the movie? Sure. Um, I'd say I'd play a more I play a more serious role within the movie. Yeah. I'm a little more on the political side of things, where right. I feel like some girls are a little more into the social aspect of it, um, which is something that I had as a frame going into Girls State, yeah. right? Focusing on politics. So, what do you think make this movie like unique in this like time and? I guess. I'm very glad that this movie is coming out on an election year because we were 16 year olds, 17 year olds when we were filming, mm -hmm. but now I'm 18, some of the girls are 19, and we are able to vote, and I want it to be just a message that everyone has a role in politics, everyone has a role in government, and to get out and vote. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us a little about your role in this movie? Um, so I ran for attorney general and I ended up winning. So oh, I, good job. <laughs> thank you. Um, so I essentially got to be a part of a Supreme Court case, which was really cool. And we talked about some really controversial issues in that. Yeah. And it was very representative of the time and really, yeah. really cool experience. So can you tell me about like what your role was in this movie? So I was on the Supreme Court. I was a judge. <laughs> and a party leader. And a party leader. I did end up running a whole political party, which yeah. I never oh. could have imagined. <laughs> you know, I went into it not knowing what to expect at all. We yeah. both did mock trial in high school and had a huge interest in government and, yeah. you know, <laughs> just government nerds, honestly. Yeah, We're kind of geeks. Yeah, basically. Um, My next door neighbor is a U.S. Senator, so oh, I yeah. already, you know. Yeah, you already kind of had that introduction. Yeah. 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 And we couldn't have ever imagined that she would have been on the Supreme Court. I mean, right. it was just a crazy turn of events. As event. soon as we found out, she called her dad. I did call my dad. I was like, Dad, you won't believe it. <laughs> so, definitely surreal in many ways. So what do you think makes this movie uh, unique, like, compared to other movies? I think um, part of it is just, like, it's a very unique experience, an all-girls-run government camp. I don't, yeah. I mean, it's, like, kind of one, it's, like, a one-time thing. I think it's been going on for so long and a lot of people don't know about it in compared to Boys Day. So I think that makes it really unique and just the characters, the cast, like every documentary is going to be different because it captures yeah. different experiences. Right, I never heard about it. Yeah, cool, no, it's awesome. Program. Yeah. I didn't hear about it until like my friend wanted to go 
and she was like, will you go with me? Like, I'm scared to go. I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then, like, she didn't even end up going. So it was, it was well, crazy. Well, I mean, you know, there, you, you got yeah. this great experience out of it, you yeah. know? Yeah, it all works out. Yeah, and I hope this film raises awareness for it so more young women try out for it. Yeah. Hopefully they get even more funding, too. So can you tell us, like, a little bit about your role within this movie? Right, so personally, I ran for governor, which in the way state politics is shaped, which it's based on Missouri state politics, yeah. is like the highest position. So I ran for governor during the week. So you guys will get to kind of see how that went. But then I also was really involved in the journalism aspect. So I did publish a paper. Um, and that was something that I was really proud of coming out of the week because I do want to go into journalism. Oh, so it's awesome to great. get to like get that experience at the girls' state level with being in press. Yeah. So can you tell us about your role um, in the movie? My role is I was on the Supreme Court. Um, me and Nisha both ran for the Supreme Court and it was only one of us could win because the slate was where you had to pick between two people. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I ended up getting it in Nishin, but um, I think it showed a lot about our friendship and um, what womanhood is and how girls collaborate with each other and are always supportive and I'm just very thankful for that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so your guys' movie is at Sundance right now, so like, how do you feel about that? It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Beyond anything we could have imagined. I've never felt like this before. I've never had She's a... never seen mountains. So I've never seen mountains. And she was like... Oh There's a lot more than I expected. <laughs> she was counting mountains. I'm not even kidding. So I'm here with the composer right now. Um, so when you're trying to compose like a movie like this, where do you draw inspiration from? You know, it's really a matter of immersing yourself into the world that the characters are in and just kind of sitting there and seeing what comes out and then throwing that to the directors and seeing what they pick out. So it's yeah. really a matter of laying a bunch of stuff on the table and seeing what, what pops for the directors. So what was the tone you were kind of trying to go for for the music? Well, I mean, you know, they're living in a fictional experience, right. but they're dealing with very, very real things. Uh, so we wanted to take the sort of the surreality of, you know, this girl state world but really imbue it with a lot of warmth and heart. And I think that there's also a lot of, of sadness in there as well. Um, like, what do you think you want um, audiences to take away from this movie? They should take away that the youth of, the youth of America is something powerful. It's something that yeah. should be taken seriously and that youth in politics needs to be a priority. So what do you think makes this movie like different um, from like other maybe documentaries that are coming out in this like day and age? I think that it's young and that's what's important. It yeah. features young women who are real life trying to be become politically active, they want others to be politically active, and I think that's important, yeah. especially in an era where we are seeing that Gen Z cares about politics, right. and it's essentially, it's really important to represent that in the media. So what are some messages you want uh, the audience to take away from this uh, movie? I think um, these young people are politically inspiring, um, they're brave, they're, they're courageous, they're challenging systems in our country that are holding women back uh, from positions of political leadership. And I think that's what we see as a new generation of, of confident, uh, bold um, young women who are ready to take power and change this country for the better. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, just in general, I, there was a quote that actually came from one of the counselors at another program, but is true with this one too, but democracy is not a spectator sport. Right. And so these programs and I think these films are motivation, I think, to all these kids are very active. and. Yeah. Um, what I love about that is that really is the way that we keep our democracy running. Girl State is coming to Apple TV Plus soon. Don't miss it. This is Captain reporting for Kids First. Thanks for joining us at Sundance Film Festival 2024. Please don't forget to subscribe to Kids First and check out all of our reviews and interviews.